testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, gonna have a, we're going to talk about this. Um, <clears throat> Terrence Crawford meets with Golden Boy, Oscar De La Hoya, a uh, little thing. Uh, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Please follow us on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Our quick hits come at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes in, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors also please subscribe to the other channel texas boxing scene that's texas boxing scene on youtube all channel, uh, all proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery um and that's completely dedicated to texas boxing so let's get into today's show terrence crawford meeting with golden boy what does it mean uh let's start with what it doesn't mean well crawford met with golden boy golden boy tweeted out we met with the best pound for pound fight in the world terrence crawford um so what does that you know? What does that mean? Um, you know, at, at the uh, Golden Boy event, De La Hoya said that Crawford wanted to uh, fight Spence. He wanted a Spence fight. Okay, well, why would he meet with Golden Boy if he wanted a Spence fight? Would he meet with Al Heyman? <laughs> you know, <laughs> like what? What would Oscar have to do with that, right? O- Oscar couldn't get Canelo fights with PBC fighters. He couldn't make a Benavides fight. He couldn't make Charlo fights. He couldn't make you know any of those fights. Um. So if, if Oscar couldn't pitch Canelo, who's a far bigger star than Spence, and Spence is a big star, Canelo's a far bigger star than Errol Spence. If he couldn't make Al Heyman bite at Canelo, how's he going to get him to bite at Crawford? Crawford's a proven pay-per-view bust. Proven pay-per-view bust. Canelo's a proven pay-per-view star. Crawford's a proven pay-per-view bust. If, if, if you couldn't pitch Canelo fights for Jamal Charlo, uh, David Benavides, Caleb Plant, Eddie Hearn had to do. Why would they want to make a Crawford fight when they know Crawford's not a star? Right? So what it, what it means is that yeah maybe Oscar's Oscar's pitching him a Spence fight, but he ain't gonna be able to deliver that. So that's over promising and under delivered. What does it mean? What can we expect? Well, Alexis Roca fought last night. He looked really good. He always looks real good. I think we can expect that. I think we can expect uh, Crawford get a two fight deal with Golden Boy. And I, I, I think what he's what Oscar's pitching him is fight Roca in June, May. Fight him in May. Then fight um, Errol in November. That's what Oscar's pitching him. That's the pitch. Two fight deal. What he's actually going to deliver <clears throat> is remember he's got Burge. Burge is ranked number one by WBO. Burge has a fight with Senor. It's coming up in April. Time is going to be impeccable. Burge is going to beat Senor in April. Get the WBA belt. The WBA regular belt. Well, why would Crawford want that? Well, he doesn't. Because Spence is going to go up to 54. And he's going to vacate that belt. And they're going to elevate uh, Burge from regular champ to super champ. And now you have WBO, WBA, Unification fight between Burge and Crawford. Great fight. Assuming Crawford beats Alexis uh, Alexis Roca, which I think he would. But again, I think Roca, I did this on my show yesterday. I'm not going to back it. I think Roca is ready. Like he looks good. He's strong. He's powerful. He's 25. He's getting his physical strength. Like he's ready. There's no more need for Roca to take tune-up fights. No more. He's ready. Let's go. Let's sink or swim time for him. You know, it's interesting sometimes. Let's see what he's all about. Maybe he surprised me. You know, I wouldn't be shocked. You know, I think Crawford's a little bit past it, but I, I would still pick Crawford to beat Roca. I, um, I don't know about Burge, though. Um, so, 
that's where we are with, with that. So I, I think what you're going to get is a two-fight deal, which in reality is Roca and Verge. And I think you're going to get the Roca fight in L.A. in May, June. And I think that you're going to get uh, the Verge fight before the end of the year, but probably late November. I, I think that's what you're looking at. Um, you know, there'll be, 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 be a unification fight with, with Bud. Um, and I think you're going to get Spence going to 54. I, I, you know, Spence can't keep – I don't think Verge can keep making 50, 47. So Verge is going to – I think he can make it for two more fights. Like, Verge is a big guy, right? but he's still young. He's still a kid, so he can still cut that way. He can still drain himself by, like, damaging himself. He, you know, he hasn't been through all those weight-cutting camps. You know, like Spence has. You know, Spence has stayed at 47 longer than I anticipated. You know, people say he's a, he's a weight bully, right? Like, he made the weight. Rule number one prize fighting. Pick a weight, make the weight. Spence made the weight. I think those days are over. I think he needs to go up to 54. I, I think he been need to go up to 54. Like, that, that he that, that's just trained late already. So, I, I don't think Spence ever fights at 47 again. So, we don't get a Crawford Spence fight at 47. But, so, I, I do think Crawford... Meeting with Golden Boy. And remember, Crawford's close with Hooker. Hooker, they're real close. They're at each other's fights. They're really good friends. Hooker is with Golden Boy. So I I, I think he resets. I think he there's a, there's a chance he signs with Golden Boy. Uh, like I said, a two-fight deal. Roca in L.A. In, in April. And then first end of the year, before the end of the year, in, in, in Cowboy Stadium. I think it's a very real possibility. Or maybe American Airlines. But I, I think it's a real. I think that's a real, real fight. I think it's a real possibility. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um. But it, it doesn't make any sense, right? I, I, I. Why would Crawford go to Oscar if he wanted a Spence fight? Oscar doesn't have an it with Spence. He can't make PBC fights. He couldn't make PBC fights for Canelo. Look, if Crawford really wanted to fight, if he really wanted to fight Spence, why would he go through Oscar? Like, why go through a middleman like that? Just negotiate with him. Get yourself a lawyer, negotiate with him. Oscar can't help you there, but he doesn't want the fight, right? Like, I, I get, I'm not saying Spence is chopping at the bit, tucking at Al Heyman's sleeve. Please, please, please make the Crawford fight. Right? I don't think Spence is doing that either. But Spence is in a much better position to get big money fights than Crawford is. You know, if Crawford really wanted the special, it, it, it would have been done, it would have been made. It would have been made. It, we can't even say what Crawford has done is about the money. Because he was the number one pound for pound fighter in the sport upon Andre Ward retiring. Right? For several years, he was the number one pound for pound fighter in the sport. And he got paid well. Not compared to the other top fighters in the world at that level. He didn't get paid well compared to Floyd. He didn't get paid well compared to Oscar. He didn't get paid well compared to. Pacquiao, he didn't get paid well compared to Canelo. He didn't get paid well compared to Deontay Wilder or Tyson Fury. Yes, he made millions. He didn't get paid what those guys made, and he's a pay-per-view bust. So while Top Rank wasn't promoting him, he was making less money than he what he probably deserved because he couldn't get big fights. And now Oscar, all of a sudden, Oscar couldn't make fights, couldn't make those fights with PBC fighters for Canelo. So if he couldn't make it for Canelo, why would he be able to make it with a much smaller star, a non-star, a proven pay-per-view bust in Crawford? Guys, let me know. Because this fight, if you think him signing with Crawford, when Crawford signing with Golden Boy gets us closer to a Spence fight, you're, you're nuts. I think the Spence fight, that ship is sales at 147. Please. Could it happen at 154 at some point? I mean, maybe. I doubt it. But that, the only possibility of that fight not happening is at 154. We're not getting an undisputed 154 pound champ. Not getting it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, what do you think of what I have to say? That Crawford's going to get uh, Rocha and Verge, but he's pitching him Rocha and uh, Spence. <laughs> Spence thinks he's slapping all with me. Um, what do you, you know about Crawford? Um, still not going to Al Heyman, not going to be going with Golden Boy. What, what do you guys think of this? Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all forms of social media. 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, also, subscribe to our channel, 
uh, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is January 29th, 2023. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.